State Fair week. They come from far and near. It's a big date on Ohio's calendar. The crowds pour into this extensive and diversified display of agriculture in honor of the Ohio farm. By car, by foot, and by golly, look here. A torn pair of bridges may be the result in this entrance extraordinary, but there are lots of things going on inside. Or as the saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. It's the week for the farmer, where he meets old friends and makes new ones, where he can compare his work with the work of others, where he can contribute to the fund of information on better Ohio farming. Everybody goes to the Ohio State Fair. Producer and consumer alike share the benefits of this great show. On the midway, you'll hear, hurry, 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 step right up and see the sights of a lifetime. Have the time of your life. Hurry, hurry, hurry. methods to gather the crowd. Their formula, first, entertain. Second, ask them to buy. With this delicious fluffy pink candy bought and paid for, we leave the midway and get into the swing of the Ohio State Fair. Leading the parade is a prize-winning band followed by the latest developments in farm machinery. Tractors, corn pickers, binders, cultivators, combines, and, well, just about everything parades by for the inspection of the fair visitors. Each year, new improvements are brought out, and the implement section is always well attended, and bigger and better plans are made for next year's crops. But horses, too, are used on Ohio farms. These beautiful Belgians are working out to be in fine battle when they go out in competition for those highly coveted prize ribbons. The finest horse flesh in the state is to be found at the Ohio State Fair. The horse pulling contest is always a big drawing card, and it's easy to see why. There's a fascination in watching the smooth flowing power expressed in every movement as the team strains to get the load started and then to keep it moving. Where teamwork counts best describes this feature of the fair program. This Ayrshire bull is a fine example of high quality cattle. All 88 counties send their finest. Isn't this Aberdeen Angus a beauty? The result of breeding for high quality meat. A fine job, well done, medium or rare. While in this family, daughter, mother and father, we find excellent examples of the Guernsey breed, distinguished for its high quality milk production. This Merino ram is a grand champion, and he looks it right out to the tips of those horns. Bacon and pork chops on the hoof. He's just about as big as all get out, or is it just a little bit bigger? A day old Jersey calf doesn't need a dinner bell or a cow bell either. Or when that hungry feeling comes over it, well. A picnic lunch from the storehouse of farm products that have been through the capable hands of the lady of the house who has a big part in the Ohio State Fair. Demonstrations are given in the arts and crafts in which the women excel. Hooked rugs, quilts, canned and baked goods all show the results of the handiwork of the Ohio farm women. Exquisitely done. The women, too, take pride in other accomplishments. Turkey raising, for which we are thankful on Thanksgiving or any other time. Honk, honk, honk. A swell fellow to have along in traffic. A two loose goose proudly showing off. Would you look at this Indian runner duck trying to see everything and how he struts. The chickens are well represented at the state fair. This is a grand champion bird and doesn't he look it? From the big chickens to the little ones. The bantams are usually the particular pets of the barnyard flock. The 4-H club style show. These girls have designed and made these dresses. The 4-H's stand for Head, 
heart, hand, and health. The 4-H clubs are doing a great work among the rural young people of the state, and they are but one of the many projects of the Agricultural Extension Service in Ohio. The future farmers of America, with their demonstration of craftsmanship on the farm, the day of haywire repairs is going. The junior fair, with over 30,000 entries, has all the attractions of the senior fair. And these boys and girls are not farmers to be, they are already farmers, and mighty good ones too. They've been working and learning, and they are here to match their results with others. The fine points of cattle judging are learned, along with other branches of farm life, and the junior farmer grows up with a keener appreciation of the values that are derived from the utilization of better farming methods. High praise goes to this up-and-coming generation of Ohio farmers. Aren't these boys and girls justly proud of their contribution to the fine array of animals to be seen at the junior fair? From out of fertile Ohio farmlands, there are harvested all manner and variety of farm produce to fill the food requirements of man and animal. Ohio is practically self-sufficient in agricultural produce, and during the harvest season, it is evident that Ohio is truly pouring out of the horn of plenty. The Ohio State Grange and the Ohio Farm Bureau are typical focal points for the distribution of knowledge pertaining to farm life. Each year at the fair, you will also find industry's contribution to the advancement of better living on the Ohio farm. These industrial exhibits vividly demonstrate the close relationship existing between industry and the farm. The sport of kings with the trotters and pacers doing their stuff. Harness racing and a fair are like ham and eggs or bread and butter. They just go together. The grandstand is always filled up when the bays, the roans, and the sorrels start prancing around the oval dirt track in pursuit of fame and fortune. Passing by in the parade to the post for you to try your luck in picking the winner of the next heat. It's Governor's Day at the fair, and the stands are jammed to the rafters to see the afternoon's festivities. The race programs have been studied, selections have been made, the track is fast. Celebrities and dyed-in-the-wool harness racing fans are here to see these four-legged speed artists open up and give everything to win. Here they come. Go! And they're off and on their way. It's a long, hard mile to the finish, and always there are past records to shoot at. For many brilliant performers of yesterday and today have raced on Ohio tracks. Names like Peter Volo, Guy Axworthy, General Watts, Rosalind, Musseltone, Lord Jim, and Peter Astra are familiar to the harness racing fans of the state. The interest is keen when they come into the stretch for that last dash of speed. As the hoops pound fast and furious down the home stretch, they produce an electrifying spell. And the stands are up to check their pre-race predictions. But it's all over now. And to the victor belongs the trophy. The fair is filled with unusual special events to make you want to come back for more next year. And to see all you can in the crowded days while you're there. Young and old alike get enjoyment from watching these smart little ponies perform. The free attractions are part and parcel of any fair. And at the Ohio State Fair, they are always bigger and better. Something going on all the time. On the ground or up in the air. On your right or on your left. Yes, within the confines of the Ohio State Fairground, you'll find just about everything. And you'll go away with memory of a grand display. And then on the flying trapeze, and we cannot resist that line about he flies through the air with the greatest of ease, this daring young man on the flying trapeze. Hey, mister, you lost something. But what can be done about it way up there? Try again. Oh, that's much better. Look out below. Boom, a daisy. But it's all in fun. Now for some serious acrobatic maneuvers. Over, and he made it. Up and on top. Now watch this one. Say, that was okay. Now take a bow. Over once, twice. One, two, catch. Nice going. Once each year, Agricultural Ohio presents its panorama of progress. And from all over this great state are gathered the finest specimens of many varieties of endeavor, each striving to push the standards ever higher. And to complete our visit to that fair of fairs, the Ohio State Fair, we pause to take in the night display of fireworks. We'll see you next year.
at a bigger and a better Ohio State Fair. <laughs>